Who gave the green light to bulldoze the centuries-old Royal Jail on Bridge Street? Prime Minister Alan Chastney refused to give a straight answer when questioned by reporters outside Parliament. Instead, he celebrated the prospects of building a new home for the police force, for which he has expressed much fondness. Reporters attempted once again to get a clear answer from the Prime Minister. However, he stood his ground and continued to tout the planned Hall of Justice and Police Headquarters. First of all, I'm really excited um, that the police officers that have been waiting for an extremely long time to get a new police headquarters, that we're well on our way to getting that established. And more importantly, I'm very happy that the designs also include six new courthouses. So I'm hoping that we can get this started as quickly as possible um, so that the police officers who have been, I can tell you, suffering. And certainly right now, many of the police officers are all around the, uh, the, the city. And so to be able to consolidate them back into one facility again, I'm very happy about it. As I said, I'm very happy that we're going to be moving in to the new facilities. Um, this is a plan that's been afoot for a very long time. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing the project start as quickly as possible. Director of the National Trust, Bishno Tulsi, warned that the administration could not be trusted because it acted in bad faith. According to Tulsi, based on the agreement, he understood that the building would not be destroyed but instead integrated into the construction project. The Prime Minister refused to budge after being peppered with questions from the media. However, he relented when faced with the allegation that the administration had gone back on its word. The St. Lucia National Trust laments what it says is a lack of dialogue. However, Shastri insists that his administration can act independently. Apart from the uproar surrounding the alleged double-cross at the construction plants, Director Tulsi says have yet to be presented by the government. The organization, which showed up in numbers outside Parliament on Tuesday, has vowed to remain vigilant in its campaign to advocate for the preservation of the island's patrimony. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.